Just, just, just static electricity. It's just moving to the sand. What's up everyone, this is Kai, I've been gone for quite a while and it's really good to be back into doing some game recordings. Um, I had several issues with my PC over the last few months. Um, I had a dysfunctional motherboard which kept on short-circuiting my graphics cards, so whatever graphics card I put in there would just get fried. Um, eventually I had to wait, wait months, or that's a bit exaggerating. Uh, I had to wait weeks to get a brand new motherboard because the motherboard system I use is the AMD AM3 model which is very rare and pretty much all the suppliers are out of stock. Uh, so what I've done is I finally managed to get a refurbished motherboard which is a pretty good one. It's got a little temperature on which is pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, um, finally got all that set up. I've got my new graphics card which is a GeForce 1050. It's not the top of the range but it's good enough. Um, and then I spent the, the last four days trying to record an episode, um, but I just could not get the correct settings no matter what I did. Either the gameplay was chuggy while recording or the file size was far too big. Um, I'm talking like three gigs for a two, two minute video. Um, or just something was not going well for me. So after a lot of tinkering and a lot of trial and error and um, pretty much just changing everything I could, looking up settings on the internet, I noticed that I was due for a driver update. <laughs> so I updated my drivers and everything's fine now. Anyway, um, we're going to be doing some Subnautica today. As um, the straw poll indicated that Subnautica had the most votes, second place was Emily Wants to Play 2. So that person that voted the extra Subnautica vote, thank you. I don't have to go through Emily Wants to Play. Um, I think we'll try and do this weekly. I'll do a straw poll um, test and see what everyone wants me to record. I'm not sure why you guys voted Subnautica because there are so many more interesting videos out there on Subnautica than mine. But um, thank you anyway. I do appreciate it. Um, and without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Um, I'm not going to start a new game. I'm actually eight hours, nine hours in this game already. Um, and I'm playing Freedom, which in my opinion is... Um, not the ultimate way to play the game, or how they intended you to experience the game, but it's just a little bit easier. Um, you just everything's the same. You just don't have to worry about eating or drinking. So that's cool for me. Um, it lets me get through the game without constantly being, you know, worrying about going back to base or getting food and water. And um, I know once you get the Cyclops, um, or once you start building bases, you can build the um, you can grow your own food and water. But meh, I prefer to just play the game. We haven't touched the Aurora yet, though. I have not gone into the Aurora. Um, I've got the basic tools. I've got the Sea Glider. I've got the scanner and all that jazz. Um, very good frames per second. I haven't had to adjust my graphics at all, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and yeah, we've got some stuff. We've got a base, a very small base, um, sea glider, sea moth, all that jazz. We're currently in the second island, and you will not believe how long it took me to find the damn teleporter again. I found it. We're safe. Um, basically, we've just gone around this entire island looking for PDUs, uh, what's it, no, PDAs, um, as well as whatever things we can scan. We found a few um, bases, which is interesting because they're all at the top of the island and they're all sea bases, which means at one point to another, the sea level was much higher than it is now, meaning it's rapidly in decline. Anyway, we've got a few missions we'd like to try to get to, but first and foremost, I've got to get back to the first island, which is where my Seamoth is, which is 2.3 kilometers away. And we're finally going to get there. I was considering swimming there for the longest time, but uh, that no longer is going to happen. Oh, so much better. My health is at half because I fell off a rock. It was like a 20 foot drop. Woo, this is one trip. I wonder if this is like a loading screen. 
All right. And we're back. This is where I'm confused. My Seamoth, where is it? Okay. So, this is the first island, and... I don't think it matters which side you go onto this teleporter, you still go to the same place. No, thank you. Uh, we're gonna go out the way we came in, I think. Just put that away. It's annoying. Get to our sea Yes, baby. There we are. Lithium, I can't take. Lith oh, hey. I don't, I don't want to deal with you right now. I thought that was a crab at first. There we go. See, this is the island that I'm familiar with. Okay. Make sure there's no bugs around here. I'll call them bugs, but they're actually those little crab thingies. There is the alien base with that huge gun that shoots down the Sunbeam rescue ship. I think that's already happened. I wonder if I can... Oh, I can't. I can't even jump in the sea from here. Hmm. I thought about it, and then I very smartly reconsidered. Okay, this is this is, this is taking too long. I just want to get there, you know. Let me get there already. Too much running around. What is that? Okay, daylight. Looks like. Pieces of paper flying around the screen. Right. What's this? Bulb tree. I already scanned that. I'm not going to go in here just yet. Wait, I should, shouldn't I? Because I have three purple tablets. Let's go into the alien base. See what we find. Interestingly enough, while I was on the previous island, the second island, my screen started distorting and this, I don't know what it was, like a smoky kind of leviathan figure came in front of the screen and was like saying stuff like, um, who are you? What are you? Then it disappeared. I was like, okay. It's not scary at all. Now, how do I get in here again? Isn't there a, a door somewhere? Like a door force field? Eh, come on. Get up there. Dude. You're killing me. Uh. There we go. Hup. Parkour. Mm. Okay. Yeah, but how do you get in? I never had this problem before. Am I being done? I think I'm being done. Hmm. Maybe it's lower down. I think it is lower down. Yeah. Silly me. Eh, I can go down here, no problem. And force field control is down. Cool. This is the alien base at the first island in Subnautica. Mostly all you do is run around picking up key cards um, and using them to get to the next areas. Kind of reminds me of those old school first person shooter games like Doom where you collect key cards to get to the next area. I think I'm going the wrong way. 
Anyway, you get to a place where you can't go any more forward, or you can't go any further because it detects that you have the violent, uh, the, the violent, the virus in you. If I do a quick self scan, it will show you that I've been infected. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Sounds good. Uh, data terminal. Download the data. How do I? But I'm clicking. What do I? Is this a bug? I'm clicking and nothing's happening. I have no idea what's going on. That was weird. If anyone knows how to get around that or if it's a bug, please let me know in the comments. Whoa! Oh, here we go. Woo! Force field control. Okay, here is the giant pool. And I know where this goes. It goes to Leviathan time. You could dock a... Uh, shut up. Shut up. I'm talking. Shh. You could actually dock a Cyclops in here. So, pop your head out here. There's another base. And what do you know? Nope. Leviathans. I'm out of here. I am in no mood to die today. I'm just gonna jump out of here. There we go. Like a boss, so boss. Oh, what's that? An iron cube. I never I never thought I had to drop something in this game. Because everything is so useful. I don't think the cave self is that important. How do I drop something? I can't drop something. Can you only drop things underwater? Okay, let's um do that. Wait, I came from that side. Huh? Gonna go back to that pool. Just to drop some crap. Some crap. Okay. Yeah, now you can drop. Don't need cave sulfur. Don't need a gel sack or a pink cap for that matter. And it'll probably still be here if I need it. So, what am I going to do with all this stuff? I've got three of these um, purple tablets, and I'm going to have two. Let's see, uh, iron cubes. A few moments later. Next, uh, next straw poll. Let's try and do something else, huh? Let's try and do something totally different. If you guys want to see me get my as handed to me at Overwatch, you can vote for that. Or Hearthstone, but not many people really like that game. Or like to watch it unless they're an actual Hearthstone fan. Oh, gotta get away from those things. Yes! Aboard, We're back. Alright, so... I'm gonna go to these ones here. It's quite a way away. Sure. Boy, am I glad to get away from that island. Or we can do some Emily Wants to Play if you feel like putting me through some post-traumatic stress. Uh, I have the second one too. Emily Wants to Play 2. We can do that. I don't mind. Whatever you guys want. Let me know in the, uh, the straw poll. I think I'll put it in the description. So feel free to vote. I also have Kingdom Come Deliverance, which I'm really enjoying. I'm about five hours into that. I think that was a Ravager. Not sure. 
Um, so we can do um, some Kingdom Come Deliverance if you guys want. I'm happy to do whatever you guys want. So vote now. Have I been here? I think I have. I do believe I have been here. Double sure, I don't want to miss anything. Let's see. Yeah, I've been here. Back we go. There's a little life pod. There's some more of these douches. They're so annoying. I should be seeing my base soon. There we go. Here's my base. It's not the nicest base. I mean, it's kind of all over the place, but here we go. My single player base is much better than this. Or when I say single player, I mean sandbox creative building. There's a sick build. Probably show that next time. Storage module. Diamonds. Well, I might have some diamonds that I can use. Let's change this so long. I'm going to rename this. Can I? No? Yeah. There we go. I'll definitely not be seeing now. Super stealthy. The name will be in white, white, white. Interior will be shocking green. And for a stripe, let's do shocking orange. No, that looks terrible. Hmm. I actually don't mind that combo. There we go. Let's go see if we have some diamonds. Very modest base, just the uh, the moon portal or whatever they call it. Bit of a walkway and the multi-purpose room. Oh yes, I have so many messages. Play partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Ugh. Freaks me out. No, 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 no! Don't, don't share the location with other agents. Uh, uh. There's no need to do that. Well, thank you for that. That just freaked me out completely. Aerogel. Equipment. Oh, cool. I can. Oh, you can actually make purple tablets with an iron cube and diamonds. Why would I want to do that? Okay, so in here's this stuff. Diamond and diamond. Good. Don't need copper. Where's my diamond? Diamond, diamond. Uh, I think these things can take a seat for now. Tools. I do got some batteries. Until I get a battery charger. Habitat builder. Um, put the rest of you guys in there. And builds. Okay. I got a lot of lithium. Doop, doop, doop. And I have a nice viewing area. How cool is that? Slurp. Let's see if we can upgrade this. Oh, I can get a prawn suit drill arm, but I don't even have a prawn yet. How reinforcement. Is this for the Seamoth? Yes, it is. Good. I think that makes a lot of sense. You know, we don't want to get destroyed by a freaking Reaper. A Leviathan, I mean. Sorry. Okay, and I suppose we 
access the upgrades here. We can already dive with an MK1 module deep. Dive and there we go. Hull reinforcement. Great. So I'm going to store these very valuable um, tablets. Oh boy. Might have to build another one of these lockers. <laughs> I think we will need to do that. Build another locker. Exterior, exterior grow bed. Bulkhead. Where would you put the bulkhead though? Uh, what else do I have? What's this? Indoor grow bed. Artificial plant bed suitable for interior use only. So I've got interior and exterior. So lockers. Okay. Pop those in there. Builds. Yes. Tools. Stuff. Take that. Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button. There we go. Okay. Let's see. What now? I think we want to go diving to the other place. What the heck are you, man? Right. Power is 4 out of 75. What does that mean? 4 is being used. Okay. All systems online. So we could go to life pod 19. I think we've been there already. Or we can go propose the gassy habitat. Let's try propose the gassy habitat. Wow, it's shallow here. Woo! Sorry. Coming through. I probably should have had a health pack or something. Oh, what's that? Is that something I need to concern myself with? Let's go have a squiz. No. Nothing worth looking at here. What about you? Have I been here before? Ooh. Grav trap. Oh, I already have that. Man, I wish they would just take out the uh, the scans that you really have done in this game. Mm. Okay. What's this? Oh, a Cyclops part. <laughs> that would be fun. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. Nothing. No, wait, that's not the way we're going. We're going here. What? You better not have any of those um, kamikaze fish in here. How do I? Okay, whoops, sorry. Oopsie. Radiation. I can't be in radiation. I, am, I haven't got a lead suit yet. Oh, that stinks. Do I really not have a lead suit? <laughs> Whoops. How do I make one? Hmm. 
fiber mesh and lead. Okay, so where do I get fiber mesh from? Okay. Alright, I think that's going to do it for now. Um, if you guys would like me to play some more Subnautica, let me know and we will, in the next episode, uh, figure out where to get fiber mesh from and make the lead suit. But um, until next time, thank you so much guys for joining me. Thank you for your patience and your support. I really do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this episode, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Uh, share it with your friends if you think they'll enjoy it. And uh, leave me a comment um, on what you thought of the episode. But until next time, guys, thank you for joining me. This is Kai. Have a great day. Bye-bye.